New year, new challenge. Let's get started. Finally. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. <laughs> this week we are going to work on something that it might be really quick, we might do in two days, and it might take a long time, we have no idea. We hope it's just one day, two days. Yeah, what are we doing this week? We are gonna take our propeller off. Not just the propeller, we are gonna open up the entire seal system. We have a really different seal system for the propeller shaft, and that's something that's really good, but if you need to open, it's a lot of parts inside, different parts. And it's been there for almost 30 years. Yeah, I think the last time they opened this up, I mean, I think they never opened this up, I think they just built this 29 years ago, and it's about time to replace the O-rings, the bearings and everything inside. But in order to do that, we have a skeg right in front of the propeller, that means that we cannot take the shaft through here, we need to take the shaft through the inside of the boat, so we need to take the propeller off, and then we need to take the cardan off inside of the boat, and then we can open up the system. But let's baby step, don't think too far ahead, otherwise we don't, we cannot do that. We need to think one step at a time. So first step, propeller. Let's take can this I, beast off. Can I try? Yeah, you can try. Yeah. Tools. We have everything you need inside. You all you need to do is to work. <laughs> now. I'm curious to see if Hubert is gonna take the propeller off. What's the first step to take the propeller off? To take the. I know. Uh, this is smart. I know. This. I cannot even help. You can help filming. Yeah, I mean, right now filming, right here. I think we need something to hold here. No, you just need to <laughs> turn the other way around. I did it! You might need <laughs> not gonna open <laughs> like this. Go up as you wanna do by yourself, you're gonna go up also. No, you need I something you to put always, here. I always get it for you. You need to go up to get it so for me. <laughs> I'm the one going up the boat now. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, on. Can I help you? I think I'm gonna need Duca for this. Do it hurt? <laughs> I'm trying to. Sorry. Even up already. <laughs> having fun today. I was missing working. Two weeks off the boat yard, not even two weeks, and she's like, I wanna work, I wanna work. No hurry. I'm excited. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> too much excitement. <laughs> I'm afraid that if I start getting slow, you were gonna take my place. <laughs> you can do my head now. I think it's really the need to kill I'm so strong. <laughs> No. Making this for the first time. This is gonna be tough. But you can do it. The main problem we have is that that's what you use to take off a propeller. But how do you fit this here? We don't. Just don't. Oh, maybe, maybe, just maybe. One of these other ones. Let's try it, please. It's so cool that this boat has all the tools you need, like came with so many tools, otherwise we wouldn't be able to take this off. Former owner was really organized, by the way.
pretty good. That was a lot quicker than I thought. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do anything yet. That's really good. That's great news. Can you take the camera? Oh, she wants to take it. Roberta wants to take by herself off. Here you go, do the honors. <laughs> can't go off. Don't do the honors. <laughs> huh. Uh -huh, I did it. Uh. That's a big step. That was the one that I thought we would take a long time. If we did that, I think we can do the rest. Can you put it back so I can take it? <laughs> Robert wants to have the feeling of taking the propeller off. I need to give that to her. I need to put it to the side. No? Oh. Yeah, it could be. Ah. Excited now? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. yeah. This was probably the step, the first babe step that we thought we would take forever because this was here for a long, long time, 20 something years, sitting on the same spot. And creating like I don't know, not rust. It's like superficial a rust. A little bit of rust, but, but it's not, not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> but we did it. I mean, how bad I did it. No, <laughs> you did the worst part. <laughs> so are we gonna we use the same propeller? No, we are not gonna use the same one because new engine, new gearbox, new pitch, new propeller. <laughs> yeah, we need a different pitch for the new propeller because it's just the whole thing. The whole system is gonna be different. And for that, we're gonna use just a regular propeller, just like the one we have. Three blades, fixed propeller, because that's what we have available for here now. Yeah. We would love to use the one everyone is gonna say, yeah. you guys should use, <laughs> you know, variable pitch propeller. Of course, we would love to use that, but we don't have available for us in Brazil. Next, next step. step. What's the next step? Just take this one off. So let's, let's go inside. Go. <laughs> let's do this. That's news. <laughs> Look at that, we have light here now, you can see everything. So what we need to do now is to take this shaft off. We can do it, right? Yeah. Second baby step. <laughs> Let's, you want to start from here or from there? Because That's this. That's the same shaft. So let's explain what we are doing. We are trying to open this entire system. The seal system for the shaft starts here. It's this entire thing. In order to do that, we need to slide the shaft backwards and in order to do that, we need to take this shaft off. Maybe we can even just take off here and just slow it down. What do you say? I can try. Yeah, so let's start by taking here off. That's it. All four screws are loose. I'm mm. not gonna take it off yet, but this easily can go off now, the shaft. But I think we should do the same on the other end, what do you say? For sure. Because we're gonna need to take it off anyways, right? Yep. So it's better to just loosen it up everything first and then we take it off? Yeah. It's a plan? Sounds like a plan? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. That's good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take this shaft off and then we think about this one step at a time, babe steps. How many times you were gonna say this today, babe? Many. Not today, the whole week. Wait for it. <laughs> I mean, the whole month. <laughs> or the whole life. That's basically how I live life. Baby steps. Look how far we got. I'm gonna open this area here. Yeah. That's so cool. I found the problem. <laughs> Check this out. It was loose? Yeah, the former owner when we bought the boat said there is a small little noise that I never found what was. He took the entire system off the seal. The, the same thing we're doing now, he did on the propeller shaft. And he said, I could not find the problem. At, at least is what I recall. Julio, if I'm saying something wrong, let me know. But I believe he didn't find the problem and he just 
got used to it and that's just this small tiny movement there that's loose it must be because it's exactly the same noise it does outside that's so cool we found the problem i mean you're gonna change the whole system now but at least we got something <laughs> let's take this off as at least we don't do the same mistake in the next one Now let's see if these screws are gonna be as nice to us as the other ones, right? They are. That's so? I need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think this is loose enough. We're not gonna take this shaft off today because we want the engineer that's gonna do the modifications of the crib for the, the berth for the new engine. I want him to see the angle before we take this shaft off. But as we have time, he's not he cannot come here right now. We are gonna try something else. Come with me. It's about time to start taking off the engine, so what's next? The next step after we do that, we need to take this old engine off and in order to do that we need to loosen up the screws for the, how you call it? It's like the soft part, like the rubber part that takes off the vibration of the engine. Yeah, we can write somewhere. But more than that, we need to take this other safe thing off because this engine, if this breaks, this will hold the engine in place, it will make sure the engine won't fly away. <laughs> so we need to take these off first and then we need to loosen up this. We're not going to take it off today, I just want to check to get ready if the screws are stuck in place. So today we're just making sure every screw is a little bit loose, so when we need to do it, it's going to be much quicker. Anticipation of work. Let's go. Let's see. First one, lucky one. It's always the, the last one that's the bad one. <laughs> it's going. Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah, it's. That's the first one. That's really good news. Check this out. Ah. Nothing is lost. We are going to do that. No, <laughs> you're not going to. <laughs> yeah, but Plus if so one is loose, that means the rest is going to. We're going to manage to do everything. You know what that is? What that is? The first step. No, that's just a sign that we can take everything apart. <laughs> but if we can take this nut off, that means we're gonna do it. I mean, that was the easiest one, of course. The it's a milestone. Position, but it's a huge milestone. We just keep going and one day we'll get there. One more, and with these two, that means that probably... First piece off. Yeah, I don't know if you understood, but this is basically a safe future that if the engine breaks the support, this is gonna hold the engine in place. Or if you flip the boat upside down, there is no way for the engine to fly away. It's just gonna stay underneath here. Yeah. Good. Make sense? Yeah. That's really good. We have one off. I'm really excited. Happy. Second step. Ha ha! In this speed, this engine is gonna be off in a week. <laughs> We need to do the other side. <laughs> 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 yeah, this side is easy, we have access. How about the other side? Look at this. How do we get there now? I have no idea. I think we can do this after lunch. What do you think? After lunch it is. Back to work. Yeah, now we are gonna try to reach the support on this side. Here is the tricky side because it's really hard to have ac access. We'll get there eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Is the battery of this one? I need to somehow oh, reach. Oh. <laughs> reach there. 
You can't even see. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You want to at least unlock these ones just to restart and make us happy. Yeah. Because if we're excited, we are excited to do that. You know, <laughs> we need to like <laughs> lift up the morale. So if we lose this up, we're going to be like really morale up. And then we can do that one. Okay. I need tools. Mm, oh, vent here. Next step is the last one. We have under control three out of four supports of the engine. The fourth one is right on that corner. That's gonna be like really, really tricky. I don't know if you can see, but it's like. Here. Can you see? Yeah. yeah. As you cannot see, we cannot see also. So that means that in order to take that screw off, we believe it's gonna be much easier if we start unassembling the engine. It's not the right timing. We are still need to work on the seal for the propeller shaft, but we have time today. So we're gonna start taking some hoses and take water off, take the alternator off, maybe the heat exchanger off, so we can start getting this thing smaller and smaller so we can take it off because after, yeah, we need to fit through the hatch on the top and with the heat exchanger it's gonna be really hard to take it off. So we, I think it's better to and the same with the engine. Let's get started. Scary. should unhook the battery of the engine because now we're gonna take the starter engine wire off so just as a guarantee let's unhook the engine from the battery Second one that's on the other side. At least one went off. Something, right? <laughs> so good when someone has thin arms and a thin body. How is things going down there? It was going great, but now it blocked it. You want me to go there and check? No, Robert is taking I the last. You got it? Yeah. That's the last screw of the support. I'm gonna have the owner? Yep. But you need to prove, show me. Okay. Ta -da! That's it. I got it. Now that we took all the, not the supports, we took all the protections for the support. Now we can... Still trying to take it out. <laughs> You did it! I got it! So that's the last protection of the supports of the engine. Now we can loose all the supports up and then when we are ready to take the engine off, we can just take the engine off. But we still need to take all the oil inside of the engine and water inside of the engine off. But we don't need to do that right now. I think for today... Like, uh, I can take this off. Yeah, sure.
See? All the supports are loose. I mean, we didn't take any screw off, but whenever we need to take the engine off, we are ready to do it. Next step is to take all the water from this off. Yeah, we are gonna use this system that we used many times before. We use the vacuum to aspirate the water because we don't want to get all the water on the bilge. If some water goes to the bilge, okay, but if we can avoid because they might have some salt water mixed with the fresh water, so. What are you doing there? We're gonna take the hose that goes to the war the boiler to the hot water tank off so we can empty the water from the engine through this hose because it's the one that I can put lower. Makes sense? Yeah. I do now is take this off if, if you get like a yeah. pot or something. I can try to put the water inside of the pot. And even one sip of water off. <laughs> you take this off, right? That's it? We did a lot this week. Yeah, I'm, I know we didn't open the seal system for the propeller shaft. That was the plan in the beginning of the episode <laughs> and on the beginning of the week. But you know, plans change all the time. We decided we needed more time to think about and to study the design of the system to get all the parts right. Because once we open, we don't want to leave it open. We want to open, clean, replace some parts and close. Otherwise, you always forget how it goes together. And you know, we wanted to do it properly. So we we rather, rather just take some extra time to think about it. And yeah. now we are ready. I, I think we are after studying and, and, studying and studying. We had the, the engineer that's gonna help us with the new engine. We had him here this week, and he taught us how to do it. And also the order of how to ah, disassemble yeah. and how to assemble. Yeah. That's important because yeah. if you do in a different order, it might be a lot harder. So now we are more confident that we know what we are gonna do because we want to do by ourselves because we want to learn. Otherwise, if we need to do that somewhere else, we won't be able to do. Yeah. Other than that, we did a lot of progress this week also on the engine room. We are in real time, basically ready to take the engine off. But it's too long for one episode, we need to divide in two. Otherwise, you're gonna be like one hour and a half watching us <laughs> disassemble an engine. But trust me, it's gonna be worth because the engine room seems so much bigger now. It's amazing, it's huge. I'm anxious to start cleaning and sanding and yeah. painting. I want to see the engine off so we can see properly the engine room and we can treat the, the, the bilge and give a fresh coat of paint. I think it's going to be awesome for the boat. And of course, we are anxious waiting for the engine. Did, you, yeah. did we tell them which engine we are buying? Not in this room, maybe. Do you guys know which engine we are buying for the boat, new engine? If you don't know, you guess on the <laughs> comment section below and then I'm going to tell you if you're right. And if you're wrong, I'm gonna tell you next week which engine we're gonna buy. I mean, which engine we bought already. It's gonna arrive just next month. Yeah, for today, <laughs> for this week, it's a wrap. And the last thing we're gonna do is to welcome on board our new patron for this week. So, welcome on board Thomas, Freddy, Gerhard, Trevor, Ulrich, Talia, Phil, Christopher. And we also want to thank all the donations for our PayPal. So, thanks so much, Bob and Leslie, Robert, Larry, and Ronnie. Guys, thanks so, so much. We really, really appreciate your support. And with your support is that we got all the way to here. And with everyone's support that watch our videos, made possible for us even to replace our engine for a brand new engine. That's just awesome. Thanks so much. We really, really appreciate. And we'll see you next, next week. week. See you guys next Monday.